Segmenting your audience is key if you want to create targeted messaging and increase your conversions in your sales process. And in today's video, you're going to learn step by step how to create a segmented opt in funnel that I call the survey funnel using no other tools other than Elementor Pro. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at what the end result is going to be here. So I'm going to refresh my home page. This is something that I've put together on my page. And you can see here at the top, I've got this little hello bar that's just asking the question, what's holding you back? And there's two options here, conversions or funnels. And here's where the segmentation comes in. It, different people are going to come to your site looking for different things. And if you have one run of the mill opt-in freebie, then you might miss half of your audience because that's not where they're at right now. So there's a couple of psychological triggers going on with this particular opt-in form. One is asking you a very simple question and it's giving you a very simple way to respond to it. Just click a single button. There's no information for you to put in. It's just asking you a question to help you and people like to be helped. So as you're scrolling through here, you're like, okay, what is holding you back? If you say funnels, it's going to give you a targeted offer to put the fun back in funnels, right? I kind of had fun with this one. Uh, but the point of this is, is it is taking you down an individualized path based on what the feedback you're giving me. So it's helping me help you better because you're actually part of the process. And you know, just to complete the loop, if we went back through and said that we're struggling with conversions, it's going to offer you a course, uh, you know, enroll and convert, you're going to love this course. And if you put in your email address, it's going to take you to a one-time offer. So now let's, and obviously the instructions to get what you want are in your email inbox, but then it's going to go ahead straight into a sales process. I probably shouldn't be revealing this because that is my website, but I trust you guys and you know, buy my course, it's great. So let's talk about kind of the philosophy or the theory of what we're doing here and show it on paper. And this is part of the little blue book of sales funnels. That is actually, this is one of the many pages that you would get if you opted in for this ebook um, using, <laughs> using one of those buttons over there. So let's break this one down because I've got a lot of great feedback from the ebook, but there's been some questions on how do I actually implement something like the survey funnel? What tools do you use? And, and I do mention here that if you want to go into an in-depth survey, they have Thrive Quiz Builder, which is a very interesting tool that allows you to create, you know, very, you know, advanced branching logic and all sorts of different scores. It's an interesting tool. Um, but if you're just getting started and you are using Elementor or uh, Thrive products as well, you can use their lead generation tools, either the Elementor Pro pop-ups or Thrive Leads and create a very similar effect. Uh, so basically the effect is going to be the survey in this example is a simple hello bar that's asking a question. Ultimately, that is a survey, right? Like we're, we're asking a question and we're getting some information about our audience in return. So there's some value there. Uh, so after the survey, they go into uh, a specific uh, one-time offer. Uh, the, this is going to be uh, that one-time offer sales page. So if you're offering something from uh, conversion optimization, you might have a, a cheap product that you'd offer after that, et cetera, et cetera. So that is going to be the uh, post pop-up uh, submission, the post pop-up one-time offer. And then from there, you can go on to your sales funnel your own happy way. Let's waste no time and dive right into the tutorial of how to actually build this now. Okay, so here we are in one of my uh, sandbox websites and we're gonna go into our Elementor templates and go to pop-ups. And the process here, let me just show you one thing real quick before we dive into it too deeply, is we want to actually build kind of backwards. So you notice we had those two buttons and those two buttons lead to two other pop-ups. We want to create those pop-ups first and then we'll come back around and create the first step. And you'll see why as we go through it. So let's go ahead and create our two options. You can create as many options as you'd like, but let's go ahead and just create two for this example. We're going to create a pop-up and we'll call this, uh, we'll do a beginner and advanced segment. So we'll call this the beginner segment and we'll choose a template. We could create this from scratch, but I think we'll go ahead and just save a little bit of time and choose a template. So we're going to choose our category and we're going to have a classic pop-up. And let's just take a look at some of this information here. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this guy. I like him. We'll insert it into our canvas and we'll just adjust the text so you can see how this all works. So we'll call this welcome beginner and we'll say learn how to get started with this specific niche. So it's a beginner opportunity. All that's well and good. Now on our email step, we're gonna go down to this lead generation form and we can take a look here. And here's where in the actions after submit, depending on what email autoresponder you're using, you're gonna to wanna to give them a specific tag or put them on a specific list that's going to identify them as a beginner. I don't think I have mine uh, turned on here or integrated here. I do currently use MailerLite. I'm enjoying it. 
but you'd be able to um, add them to the specific list that says this is a beginner person. And then within MailerLite, you can create a specific follow-up sequence that's aimed at beginners to kind of help them where they're at. You'll also want to do a redirect, and then we can have them redirect to a sales page, which let's say um, we'll call this, actually I haven't created this, so we'll create this as well. All right, so we created a page and we don't have the MailerLite installed here. Let me go ahead and install my API key real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added my uh, API key into the settings. And so for this example, we're doing the beginners. We can come here to our groups and say test beginner. And then you can map the email field to the email field. And we'll hit, let's just review this real quick. We have our redirect going to the beginners thank you page. We have our segment going there. So let's go ahead and hit publish on this guy. And on conditions, we're actually going to invoke this pop-up using a button. So we don't need any specific conditions here. So we'll go ahead and just say next. And then again, we don't need this at the moment. And advanced rules, we also don't need this. So we'll go ahead and save and close. Our pop-up should now be published. Let's just take a look at how it appears. And because there's no uh, pop-up settings, it's not gonna show up there. So that's exactly what we want. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing again and create one for an advanced segment. <clears throat> we'll go again to template, add new. We'll call this advanced segment and we will edit with Elementor. And so now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the advanced segment. So we'll go back to pop-ups and we'll say, add a new pop-up. And here we go, we're gonna call this template advanced segment and we'll create the template. All right, let's pick a slightly different uh, template here just because I wanna make sure it's very obvious. So we'll do bling it up as our start. I love these templates. Elementor has done a great job making some hilarious templates for their pop-ups. Okay, so now we have Bling It Up and we'll go ahead and adjust this text as well. And let's just say, okay, take your business farther. I'm trying to figure out some way of making it obvious this is not just for beginners. So let's go into our style and change our typography and make that size much smaller. Good enough. And we'll say, you are advanced. Just to make our example extremely clear that we are advanced here. And then we'll go ahead and in this form, let's make the actions after submit. We're gonna say we don't want an email after this, but we do want mailer light and we do want a redirect. So we put those actions in and then adjust our, um, our redirection settings. So we're gonna call this advanced thanks. Advanced thanks. Let me just log that so I don't forget about it. Okay, so we have our redirect settings created and let's go into our mailer light and then we can again create that segment by putting this into the test advanced group and we'll of course link our email address okay so we're looking good so far let's go ahead and just preview this guy see how this actually looks when we uh, pull it up with the button we'll preview it okay works for me i like it so we'll keep this guy we'll go ahead and publish him and again, we don't need anything to really worry about here because we're gonna pull this guy in with a dynamic button. So let's go ahead and exit to the dashboard and we'll create one last pop-up template. And this is going to be the hello bar or you can do this in any way you'd like. We'll do a hello bar just because I like them. Uh, we'll call this hello bar question. And this is going to be what we showed in the beginning where we create a very simple question answer template with some buttons kind of a, the easiest way to do a survey. Okay, so when you're looking at which one you wanna pick, you've got really two options for how I want to tutorial. The hello bar is the uh, thin ribbon at the top and the bottom bar is obviously the ribbon at the bottom. So let's go ahead and just take a look at these real quick. And I kinda of like this guy here, he's kinda of silly. So let's take a closer look at him. You've got a guy that is struggling with something going on there and then a button. Let's go ahead and insert this just for fun. Okay, so he uh, flies up out of nowhere and he is in some sort of trouble. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete this uh, button here. And I have Elementor Extras installed. You can do this as well using just two individual buttons. But I'll go to buttons and I have, where is it, buttons here. And we'll just drag this guy in. And what I like about this is it allows you to very easily uh, not to fight with the uh, formatting and you can create two buttons side by side, which is very helpful. And we'll go here to this column and let's just make sure that this is centered. So style, vertical alignments in the middle and 
other alignment is in the middle there. So let's go ahead and give these two buttons some question question answers here. So beginner and so we're filling out this beginner button here and let's go ahead to the link and instead of sending them actually to a link here, we're going to go to this dynamic uh, area up here and click here. And this is part of the new features within the pop-ups area where I can scroll down and now under actions, I can actually invoke a pop-up. So I'll click there and then I'll click back on the word pop-up. And now this gives me the ability to open, close or toggle a pop-up. And I'm going to search for beginner or BEG. And now for some reason it does pop up to the corner. That's kind of a frustration, but we now see our beginner segment pop-up is available here. And let's just style it real quick and make you kind of the background color a nice green. Oof, I don't even have a green. Goodness gracious. Let's uh, come up here. There we go. All right, so we've got beginner and then go into our second button here and call this advanced. And similarly, we're going to go to our link and click on this database icon here and go up to the pop-up and select the advanced segment. And now you can see the advanced segment is showing up here correctly. And let's see if we can get the styling of just this one button to work nicely. So we'll do the background color of this button and bring you up. What do you think? Let's do purple. That's <laughs> Don't choose me for your color palette. <laughs> So we have our beginner button and our advanced button. They're each going to link to the pop-ups. Let's go ahead and adjust this text real quick to make it more relevant. And we'll say, <laughs> where are you in your business? Simple question. Now let's go ahead and save this and take a look at it. We'll preview. It will look a little bit funny uh, because it's kind of pulling all the pop-ups in uh, at first. Don't worry about that. When you click on the beginner, you'll see the beginner pop-up. And when you click on, let's refresh this. When you click on the advanced, it will show the advanced pop-up. So now let's go ahead and publish this hello bar and we'll hit the publish button and then we'll put the conditions. Let's just for now show the entire site. Uh, you probably would not want to do that in reality, but just for the demonstration, you'd maybe put this on your homepage, maybe put this on your blog posts, uh, something where uh, you, you know exactly where it's gonna be showing. And we'll do it on page load immediately. Next and always show it just for the example here. And we are live. So now what we can do, let's just finish this off because we actually are redirecting them to uh, some thank you pages. And I wanna show these as being specific one-time offer pages. So go to pages, add new. And we're gonna create beginner, thanks. And we'll just hit, let's just say thanks for Signing up to the beginner course. And let's just make sure that our permalink settings are looking good. Let's save the draft. So beginner thanks, that's looking like what I want it to look like. We'll publish it. And then we'll create another thank you page. And we'll call this one advanced thanks. You are an awesome advanced user. Here, here's a one-time offer and we'll publish this. And I know I'm being kind of goofy here, but this is actually kind of important because what you saw is on the beginner thing, on the beginner thank you page, I didn't actually offer them anything to buy, but on the advanced thank you page, I did. So the benefit of doing this is you can create a very customized journey depending on where your people are at within their uh, specific segment. So the beginners, maybe they're not ready to spend any money yet, but you know that the advanced people are, and you also don't want to come across too salesy to the beginners, so you don't offer it to the beginners. You know, there's a lot of psychology and a lot of split testing you can do to kind of figure out what makes sense for you guys. Hey, so just a quick note. I In this example, I showed you creating a page as your thank you page, but if you're using cart flows, which I highly recommend for sales funnels and WordPress, you can also make the thank you page of the email opt-in form the first step in your funnel, in your flow. And so by that way, you can create the upsells and downsells to that special one-time offer, and it all works very nicely together. Okay, back to the tutorial. Okay, so let's go and run this thing. So we'll go to visit our site. Oh, you know, one thing I just noticed here is 
Uh, so it's showing up correctly, but it's actually doing an overlay. I don't want the overlay because that makes me, and it's not, it's very intrusive. So let's go to edit with Elementor. And I love this because wherever you have a pop-up on a page, you can actually edit that pop-up directly in this little drop down here. So with the hello bar question, we'll go back here and edit this. And we'll just come down to the general settings. Oh, here we go. Overlay, we'll turn the overlay off. So now that clears it up. And you could remove the close button, but we'll leave it on for now. We'll hit update. And let's go back to the page. Just go to our homepage here. Okay, so here we go. This guy is popping up and it kind of stays with you as you're exploring the page, which is very nice. And then you're like, oh, look at this. Let's assume you're an advanced person. We'll put in an email address here and hit submit or send. And now you can see, <laughs> see this is what I mean. You probably don't want this to show up on your entire page because now you've just created a strange loop in your reader's eyes, which is not good. But you also will see that thank you page for the specific one-time offer for your advanced users. Just to round out the discussion, if we were to come back through here and say we're a beginner and send that information, it will then take you to a beginner's thank you page. And this is where you can either just give them some confirmation in, uh, to say, hey, go to your email address and you'll see your freebie in there. Or you can have a one-time offer for beginners and a one-time offer for advanced users. It's really up to you. So I hope this was helpful. This is kind of an in-depth tutorial. If you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. And most importantly, if you want to learn more about these sales funnels, there's seven more of them at least in the ebook called The Little Blue Book of Sales Funnels for WordPress. Go ahead and head over to IncomeMesh.com. You'll see a hello bar very similar to what we just made in this tutorial. Surprise, surprise. And you can click there and download to improve your sales funnels. They also have a pretty awesome uh, import functionality where you can bring them into your own website with a single click. So I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. My goal online is to help you find the perfect tool for your next project. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.